Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video today, I'm going to show you how to fix this issue with glitching in DaVinci Resolve with some of your motion assets. So you'll have something like this. This is just a text motion. It'll happen in any other sort of fusion asset as well. So the solution is to use the right options to adjust things. So this is something I have here. Uh, that's just a static image, but I'll just quickly play through what it looks like as well. So you'll see there's a lot of artifacting and glitching. Same happens for this one. And the trick is to adjust things using the right menu. So if we go to this clip here, so this here is the actual asset. This here is settings where you will normally adjust your transformation, your position, and it's quite tempting to use this option. However, this is where the problem comes in. So just go over to the settings menu here for your effect, click the reset button, and then jump back over to the title option and make sure you only use the adjustments in this screen. So you've got size, position, image, make all of your adjustments from this page only because it doesn't affect any of the motion graphics or titles or whatever you're using and it won't cause the glitching. So if you use this one here, we'll just adjust the size. So we'll bump it right up. Maybe not that big. So just about there. The graphic will play through without any glitching. So that's the easy way to fix this problem. On the odd chance that doesn't actually work for you and you have the problem come through in your export, you can just export using a couple of different methods. So change to the delivery tab. Over on the left hand side here, we can use a different format. Might not be ideal, but it will allow you to use it without glitches. So just come over, go to QuickTime, change the codec to DNHR, then change the type down to the LB1. Once you've done that, you can export the project and it should work without any issues. If you don't want to use a QuickTime MOV format, you can also use a MP4. So we can go to format, change to MP4, switch the codec to either 264 or 265. We'll use 264 for this one. And scroll down the list here. When you get down to the keyframe section, just change it from automatic to one. A lot of the time this will solve the problem and you can export it without the glitching. So once you've changed that, just export it as you would. Adjust any of the other settings as you want, but just make sure it's set to 264, 265 for your codec and then change the keyframing down to one. Anyway, I hope that helps. It should solve the problem for you. Just remember the most important part is to use the graphics properly and make sure you're adjusting the settings from the title screen, not from the settings screen. Anyway, that's it for this guide. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on another video. Cheers, everyone.